Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise in Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, a Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you guys, I, know, I know you guys are listening to that intro. I know you guys are listening to that intro. You're like, at what point is he going to change the intro? Like, when is Glenn going to change the intro? It still says he's the general manager at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealership in America. So I know you guys are waiting. You're like, when is Glenn going to change that dang intro? Well, check this out. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Not bad, right? Not bad, right? See, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for baby number seven to come popping into the world. That's all I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on baby number seven. And as soon as baby number seven gets out here, then we are going to rock and roll with the new intro. That's one of the things I've been working on. One of the changes that I've had to make. I've had to make quite a bit of changes over the last couple of weeks, but it's been incredible. But one of the great things about all of the changes that I've had to make over the last couple uh, weeks, especially, is I've been surrounded by incredible people and I've had incredible conversations with just absolutely I mean, just absolutely amazing, amazing people. And so today, well, I'm going to dive into that here in just a second. I'm jumping ahead of myself. It is Halloween. Today is Wednesday. I had to double check, but today is Wednesday, October 31st. It is Halloween. And so if you are dressing up today, I do want you to post a picture in the group, in the Rise and Grind group today. I want you to post pictures of you in your costumes because I love that kind of stuff. I love getting to know you guys a little bit better. So Anybody dressing up today, make sure you post somewhere in the Rise and Grind group today what you look like in your awesome costumes, or, or if you dressed up yesterday, that's fine. Post it in there. Uh, thanks to my man Rhino for creating the Rhino Challenge. I have absolutely been loving, just absolutely loving getting to know all of you guys a little bit better through the Rhino Challenge, which is strictly a couple minute long live video that you post in the group that says who you are, where you're from, and three things you love about yourself. I I absolutely loved uh, Vicki Everett's yesterday. She's just, there's something special about Vicki Everett. I think we all know it, and I'm excited to see what she does on this planet going forward. Listen, uh, today's the last day for Feed a Family, so if you want to commit to feeding a family for the holidays, make sure you go to glennlundy.com, which the website's looking a little different now because Dave Benson's been working on it, but make sure you go to glennlundy.com, check that out. All right, yesterday I was on a call with this young lady right here. I was on a call with Kristen McCracken Kingsbury, and you're going to want to know that name because she's an incredible human being. You probably want to look her up on Facebook after we get off the show, Kristen with a C. McCracken Kingsbury is a friend of mine that I actually have gone to school with all the way back since middle school. I went to school with Kristen and we were always uh, like-minded. We were always united. We always were powerful, positive, forward-thinking human beings. But what she's done is she's taking her, taking her uh, mindset and her attitude and she's created a massive business for herself in real estate out there with Keller Williams and she is out in uh, Arizona. And so she's grown her business big time. She's grown her team big time. And what she's done is she's learned everything that she can learn from this guy. Now, see, this guy's name is Ben Kenny. Ben Kenny. Now, Ben Kenny is like a billionaire. Ben Kenny has, he's, he's blown up real estate wise. The guy does 
thousands, literally sells thousands upon thousands of homes every year. Uh, he also has training that he does. He has all kinds of other stuff that he does. All right. So you got Kristen, my friend, and then you got Ben Kenny, who is like the real estate mogul of the world, right? He was actually last year, he was the number one real estate agent in the world, sold more houses than anybody. So Kristen, my friend, Ben Kenny, her friend, Ben Kenny's the billionaire. Well, my, my friend Kristen, she went, she paid to go spend two days in a very small elite group, only 25 people. So there was 25 people got to spend two days with Ben Kenny and they learned a bunch of stuff. And thankfully, because Kristen's my friend and she loves me and she cares about me and she's just part of this incredible network of people that I have. Thankfully for that, Kristen sat down with me yesterday. We jumped onto a Zoom and she kind of covered, went over some of her notes and things that she learned from this very high level, incredibly, incredibly neat experience that she had. So she shared it with me and I thought, hey, I should probably share with my group on hashtag rise and grind because we all want to make each other bigger and we want to all we all want to make each other better. So I'm going to share that with you today. But first, you know what we got to do. First, we got to get our dance on up in here. Let's go. That feels all right. What about this one? No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see, got to find the music that needs to move. Everything, everything's got to line up. All right, check it out, man. For those of you that have never seen the show, and those of you that have, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right, hit that share button, because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. And sometimes all it takes is you hitting that share button to change the way someone starts their day. So hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where I want you to say good morning to me, and I'm going to say good morning to you. I don't care whether you're watching on replay or you're watching live. I want to hear from you. Like my man, Ricardo Gerard. What's up? Good morning, my man. What's up, Sandra Ben Stockdelolio? I'm getting faster on that. Good morning. Good morning, Gail B. Craft and Ryan Smith. Good morning, Liz Rankin Tinger. Good morning, Anthony Santangelo and Ray Hatcher. What's up, Archie? How are you this morning? Dave Clayton's up in here. Janelle Griego's up in here. Good morning, Junior De La Rosa. Tony Tito Washington, my man with the keys, up in here this morning. Tony Lake's up in here this morning. What's up, Derek McClain and Leanne Ryan Smith? Of course, we've got Neil up in here and Pam Biddle's up in here. My girl Vicki Everett's up in here. The Twang Sisters in the house. Good morning, Cameron Moore and Ann Gilbert. What's up, Josh Marks and Joe Sleep? Joe, sorry, Joe Leap. And of course, my man Josh. Oh! Today is going to be fire, boys. I got boys and girls, I can tell you. We got Frank Cornetti up in here. And Frank Cornetti's up in here this morning. It's got to be fire. Frank Cornetti only deserves the best. I got to deliver the best. What's up, Scott Holbert? Good morning. What's up, Princeton Sowett? Good morning. What's up, Tim Duff? Good morning. Trini Trent is up in here. Good morning. There are 100 people up in here on hashtag ride and grind this morning. All right, we good? You guys got the body moving, right? Everybody's woke up. Everybody's got their cup of coffee. Glenn's done the intro. We know what we're going to talk about today. Are you ready to learn something? Put it in the comments. I want to see it. Man, I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you ready to learn something? Dude, I'm going to teach you some stuff today. I'm going to teach you some stuff today. I'm telling you, this is why we do this, okay? It's motivation, education, and inspiration, okay? We can get motivated every day. And, and we have to. It's like bathing. We have to do it over and over and over again every day. And things can be inspiring for us all the time, right? But we got to get educated. We got to get smarter people. We have to learn. We have to learn to get to the next level. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready this morning to learn something because I'm going to teach something for you right here, right now that's going to apply in your life that you can use to change your life. So I'm on the phone with Kristen, who is friends with Ben Kinney. Kristen paid a lot of money to spend two days with Ben Kinney. Kristen has modeled her entire real estate business with Keller Williams after Ben Kinney. Ben Kinney, Kristen has seen Ben Kinney write million dollar checks to charities and organizations. One of the great things about this Ben Kinney guy is apparently every time he holds a conference, every time he holds um, any coaching sessions, every time he does anything like that, he donates 100% of the money to a local charity. 100%. He does it because he wants to help people, A, 
That's why he holds the confidence. That's why he holds the, holds the coaching. But he has a philosophy. He has this philosophy called win, make, give. That's his philosophy. Win, make, give. He wants everyone to win. That way they can make enough money in order to be able to give. Win, make, give. I think that's an incredible philosophy that we all need to work on. We all need to, in our own personal lives and with the people that we employ, we have to make sure that they're in a situation where they are winning and they've got to be winning on the level where they are making enough money to be able to give. Okay, it's not it's not enough for them to be making enough money to pay their bills. I'm talking to all the leaders that are in this group right now. It is not enough for you to put your employees, your your the people around you in a situation where they're just winning enough to make enough money to live. That's not enough. They got to be making enough of money to give. Now, to all of you that are not in leadership positions, that you have leaders that work for you, I need you to understand something. It's not just the leader's job and responsibility to take care of you. You have to put yourself in a position you got to get to the point where you are winning you got to get to the point where you are winning at a point where you're making enough so that you can give okay so already right out the gate boom it's 542 we've already got we've already got a mission we already have an assignment that we learned and this is the thing when you surround yourself with powerful people when you always open your mind to learning when you're surrounded by a network of amazing people you can learn little tidbits at 40 years old nobody has ever specifically sat me down and said glenn it's important that you win at the level where you make at the level where you can give and you make sure that anyone that works for you is in that same exact position no one's ever said that to me but they have now (laughs) and i get it so check it out boom all right check it out five things five things they talked about that i'm going to share with you that one was just a bonus all right first of all my friend Kristen and my friend ben kenny they're in this group right and Kristen is telling me that ben kenny was talking to her about how important it is to learn to pass on the right opportunities with the wrong who's. Mike Brockway, if you're taking notes, listen. In life, we must learn to pass on the right opportunities with the wrong who's. Okay, and here's, I'm gonna, let's, let's dive into this. What does that mean, Glenn? Okay, well, sometimes in life, you're going to get opportunities. You're going to get maybe career opportunities, or you're going to get opportunities to, um, to be with, with uh, a, a certain woman or a certain man, or you're going to get, you're going to get opportunities to go uh, do something. You might get an opportunity to go to a sporting event, or go to a concert, or go on a camping trip, or whatever. There's opportunities that come up in your life. And what we tend to do is we tend to look at the opportunity, right? Like, uh, for example, I had some people reach out to me about a speaking gig. They're like, hey, you should come out and speak at this thing. I kind of look at the people in the speaking thing. I'm like, eh, I'm not necessarily, I don't know if I necessarily align with those people that are speaking right there. So it's an opportunity. And yes, it's an opportunity. And I'm looking to speak more. I'm looking to get on stage more. I'm looking to spread my message out further to be able to help more people. I'm looking to do that. That's a great opportunity. However... However, is that, is that the right who's? Because, see, the who's in your life are what's going to determine whether you go in life. The who's in your life are going to determine whether or not you get on to that next level or not. The who's in your life are people like Kristen. Kristen is a who in my life. She's someone that breathes life into me. She's someone that feeds me. She's someone that takes the time to educate me. She's someone that cares about my growth, that cares about me getting to the next level, that cares about my family. The who's in my life are the Liza's. Liza, I was on the phone with Liza. She cares about me. She cares cares about uh, my next level. She cares about my growth. She's a brilliant human being. She's poured into me. My who's are Brian Benstocks. My who's are Josh Cummins's. My who's are Danelle Delgado. Like my who's are Scott Simons. My who's are Dave Benson's. My who's are these people that care. And those are the people I want to take advantage, not take advantage, but those are the people that I want to create opportunities with. Those are the people I want to, I want to do those things with. However, sometimes as human beings, we just see the opportunity. We don't look at the who's. So I thought that was powerful talking to Kristen. And I want to share that with you guys in your life going forward. The who's are more important than the what's, right? 
Well, what is the opportunity? Well, it's an opportunity for you to go to the Super Bowl and sit on the 50-yard line and watch your favorite team play in the Super Bowl. That might be the opportunity. Okay, great. That's an amazing opportunity. I might not never get that again. Well, who do I have to go with? Well, you have to go with um, Satan and four of his minions. Not so, Not such a good idea, right? Not such a good idea. Just because it looks good and just because it tastes good doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. So I want to stress that. I want to stress that. I thought that was powerful. Number two thing that I learned from my good friend Kristen, who went to a big seminar or a very small, intimate 25-person seminar and spent two days with Ben Kinney. Second thing I learned from her and that she learned from him, top performers can only juggle three balls at a time. Okay? Top performers can only juggle three balls at a time. Three major projects, three three like big projects. Obviously, we could do a hundred things in a day, right? I can go to the gym, I can do gratitude lists, I can do a show. We can do a hundred things in a day. But as far as big projects, we can only juggle as human beings, top performers, we can only juggle three big projects, three major areas of focus at a time. It's the only thing that we can do. It's all that works. Okay? It's all that works. So my question to you is how many are you juggling right now? How many different things are you working on right now that you're not getting any of them done, right? How many different irons do you have in the fire and you're like, I can't complete any of these cycles? It's because you're doing too much, people. You're doing too much. Top performers can only juggle three. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to point one thing out. If your marriage or your relationship at home is one of the things that you need to be working on, it's one of the projects that you have to work on because you're struggling in that area, right? If that's one of the things then I'm just letting you know that that, that that actually counts as one of the things. Now, see, if your relationship at home, if your marriage is good or your relationship with your spouse is good and everything's good at the house, then you can take that out and you can focus on three other things. Make sense? You can focus on three other things. But we can only do three. We can only juggle three. I'm dealing with this right now. I have a million things that I want to get done, a million things that I want to do, but I'm having to focus on the three that matter most. Right now, I'm focused on the planner. Right now, I'm focused on the conference. Right now, I'm focused on the group. Those are like the three main things. I'm making sure we build this group. I'm making sure the conference is solid, and I'm making sure that the planner gets done. Once the planner gets done, that's going to be coming out in time for Christmas. Once the planner gets done, then I'll shift over and focus on some areas. But that's one of the things. Top performers can only juggle three things at a time. What are you guys juggling? So what else did I learn from my friend Kristen? My friend Kristen, who spent some time with her friend Ben Kinney, who's an absolute freaking superhero in the world. What else did I learn? Third thing that I learned. As human beings, we tend to complicate things to justify inaction. As human beings, we tend to justify, or we tend to complicate things in order to justify inaction, right? You're like, well, I can't do this because... Well, I can't do this because then I got to take care of the kid. I can't, I can't work out because I don't have enough time because I got to take the kids to school and I got to get them breakfast and I got to do this. And well, maybe I can't, I can't really do that. I can't read that book because I don't have time because I got to work late and I got to stay after. And, 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 you know, I really want to um, write that book. I've been wanting to do it forever, but I can't because, right, we complicate. We tend to complicate things. That way we can justify inaction. We can say, well, because it's so complicated, I'm not doing it. And that's what we do. So the thing that my friend Kristen shared with me yesterday that she learned from her friend Ben Kinney, that's really, really neat, is she said we must simplify, we must simplify our actions to remove any chance of escape. You must simplify to remove any chance of escape. She gave me an example. She said she was making excuses of why she couldn't work out because she had to take the kids here. She had to do this, so on and so forth. So she was making excuses. So in order to simplify, to basically remove any escape routes, what she did is she took a uh, bicycle, whatever that, whatever you want to call that thing, an exercise bicycle, and she put it plop right dead in the middle of her living room. It's right there in the middle of her living room. So there's no more excuses for her. She can't make an excuse for not working out. It's right there in the living room. She doesn't have to go to the gym. She always has time. It's right there in front of her. There's no way out. It's simple. It's easy. And because she did that, 
She now works out. She takes care of her body. She was able to create the habit and create the routine. How many escape routes do we have? Oh, well, I woke up a little bit late, so now I don't have time to get to the gym this morning. Whereas if we would have planned the night before, set out our clothes, set out our bag, made sure everything that was ready, not hit the snooze button, we can, like, we can eliminate this stuff. We must simplify because as human beings, what we tend to do is complicate things. We purposely complicate things in order to justify inaction. And we got to stop that. We must simplify to remove any chances of escape. Make it easy. We are human beings, people. We stay away from hard and we are magnet. We are just pulled and drawn towards what's easy. So we must simplify. I loved talking to her yesterday about this specific area, really, because I, I can do that. I can I can tell myself, oh, well, I, it's so complicated, and I got to do this, and I got to do that. And it's all I'm doing is basically just justifying inaction. It's my way. It's my defense mechanism of saying, oh, well, it's okay that I didn't get that done because it was too hard to get it done. Well, that's nonsense. That doesn't work. That's not how you become a peak performer. It's not how you reach the top in your game. And so I'm here to tell you this morning, we got to simplify things to not allow us to have any escape routes. All right. Number four that I learned from my very good friend, Kristen McCracken Kingsbury, who she learned from Ben Kenny, who's the absolute dude. The fourth thing that she told me is you got to make sure that you partner up and you partner up with people that will call you out on your BS. You got to partner up with people that will call you out on your BS. Stop hanging around with a bunch of smoke-blowing buddies who tell you you're the, be the greatest thing since sliced bread and you're the most amazing human being to ever walk the face of the planet. You got to stop. Don't get me wrong. We need encouraging words. We need kind people in our lives, but we need people to breathe truth into us. That's the most important and powerful thing is when people will, will breathe truth into you, where they will tell you where you are flawed, where they will tell you where you need work. Those are the kind of people that you want to be around. Me personally, I want to be around people that can help get me to the next level. I can't get to the next level if you're just constantly stroking my ego. I can't get to the next level if you're just telling me how great I am. The way that I get to the next level is with truth and with integrity and with kindness. If you reach out to me and you say, yo, Glenn, here's what I see and here's how I can help you and here's where you need to work on and here's how you need to get better. That person, that person becomes a much better friend to me. I become much deeper related and connected with the people who can help me grow versus the people that can stroke my ego. Y'all got that? I can get so much more out of the people that can help me grow. Than I can the people that stroke my ego. So that was one powerful thing. That was number four. That was one powerful thing. And man, we're we're way behind by, on time. But I don't care. I don't care today that we're behind on time. And I know you guys, I respect your morning routine. I respect your time and I value it. That's why I'm feeding you this knowledge this morning. Because you need it. We all need it. We need it, man. It's a powerful time in our lives right now. We have this ability to do whatever, whatever. We can accomplish so much. We live in this world where we can make ripples, man. We can make waves. We're impacting this planet on a massive scale. And so we must, we must, we must take the time to educate ourselves. We must take the time to learn. We must take the time to grow. And motivation is fun and inspiration is fun. But today we're getting some education. Are you learning? Are you learning today? Because I'm learning. If you're not learning, I'm pulling out even further ahead of you. You need to come on. You better come on with it. All right, number five. Last one, and I'm going to get you guys out of here, okay? Number five. And Danell Delgado talks about this too, and I thought it was interesting that my friend Kristen spent time with Ben Kenny. And Ben Kenny said almost the same thing as my friend Danell Delgado. And what he, said, what he told Kristen is he, he asked Kristen, he said, Kristen, are you currently now the person that your dreams require? Are you currently now the person that your dreams require? Now, Danelle Delgado says, are you currently now the person that your results require? But I think it's interesting that they both have the same mindset and they're both two powerful, incredible human beings. Are you currently the person now that your dreams require? When you close your eyes, when you dive into your mind, when you look at the human being that you feel passionate that you are called to be, when you look into the future and you say, I'm 
going to be that person. I'm going to be that guy, that girl, that type, whatever that is, whatever's pulling on your heartstring, whatever that vision is. Are you currently now the person that that dream requires? Are you? Do you have the integrity level now? Do you have the discipline right now? Are you currently right now doing the actions, the things that your dreams would require you to do? If you were where your dream takes you, if you were the person that you envision yourself to be, if you were the exact ideal living the exact life that you want to live, that you feel you are called to live, if you were that person, what would your daily actions look like? And the question I'm asking you today are, do your daily actions today match the daily actions of the person you envision yourself being 10 years down the road or five years down the road or whatever years down the road? That vision that you have in your head of who you are supposed to be are your actions today a reflection of the person that you want to be in your dreams tomorrow? Powerful question. You powerful question. I'm answering that question right now. I'm thinking about the person that I want to be in the future. The person that I want to be five years from now. What's that guy look like? What's he doing? What actions is he taking? How? What do his, what do his moral standards look like? What's his integrity look like? What's his work ethic look like? What's his relationship with his wife look like? What's his relationship with his kids look like? What's his relationship with his followers look like? What's he doing in the group? What's he doing with his books? What's he doing on the stage? I'm asking myself all of those questions exactly what does he look like that amazing human being that God created me to be what does he look like what is he doing on the daily and then now I'm going to go back into time and I'm going to go to present day and I'm going to open my eyes and I'm going to take a look around and I'm going to say is the Glenn Lundy of today doing the exact things that the Glenn Lundy of my dreams five years from now is doing And I'm asking myself that question this morning. And I need you to ask yourself that question this morning. Because if they're not, if the actions don't line up, if you're not doing the exact same things that you would be doing when you're living your dream life, then it's time to start working on that. It's time for you today to start working on that. All right, I'm going to sum this all up. Make sure you're passing on the right opportunities with the wrong people. Make sure you're only juggling three major products at a time. If one of them is your home life, you got to get that straight. Get it straight. Make sure you simplify to remove any escape routes. You got to simplify the tasks and the activities to remove any escape routes. Surround yourself with people who will be true to you, who will call you out on your BS. If you're being lazy, they'll call you lazy. If you're not being, uh, uh, if you're not being moral, if you're not have, uh, carrying yourself with integrity, they'll call you out on it. Surround yourself with people like that. And lastly, and most importantly, be the person today that your dreams require because see you're this amazing human being did you know that uniquely made by the god of the universe to be the most just the most absolute incredible version of yourself that you can possibly be that's what you're designed to be do you understand and so you're already making good decisions you're in the rise and grind group which you're gonna hit that share button right now if you haven't done it already because you know you know that what we just delivered is absolute fire. So if you haven't done so already, hit that share button. But you're in the Rise and Grind group. You're already starting to make good decisions. All of your comments, all of your posts, the motivational quotes, the videos, all of that stuff that you're putting in there, it's making an impact. It's making an impact on your friends. It's making an impact on your family members. It's making an impact on absolutely everyone around you. And it's making an impact on me. And I, for one, dude, I'm telling you, I am not messing around when I tell you I absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely love you. I do. So if nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I think I love you, people. Now, if you need more videos, you need some motivation, some inspiration, any of that good stuff, go to glennlundy.com. You can check that stuff out there. I got videos. If you need some Rise and Grind gear, you need some shirts, some hoodies, or any of that stuff for the fall, go to glennlundy.com. If you want to sign up to feed a family, go to glennlundy.com. All that stuff's right up there. Dave's been messing around with it, so some of it's in Spanish and whatnot. So if you can't figure out your way around, just message Dave Benson. He's currently still working on that. But most importantly, will you guys do me a favor, please? Will you please come back here again? tomorrow morning at 5 30 a.m because we're going to do all this all over again we're going to do it all over again so come back again tomorrow morning 5 30 a.m on hashtag rise and grind